I'm going to answer this question about a matrix. But first, I have to say that the way that f of x is written only makes sense if I interpret it as f of x equals 1 plus x over the quantity 1 minus x. If that's not what you were trying to represent, then I'm going to, I apologize, but that's how I interpreted that. So the matrix is right here and that's A. And so if we want F of A, we just plug it in for every X, but one in the matrix world is the identity matrix. And then X is our matrix A. And that's divided by one again, which is the identity matrix. minus our matrix A. Now, I'm going to do the subtraction in the denominator first. So this becomes 1, 0, 0, 1, plus our matrix divided by, when I do that subtraction, I have 1 minus 1 is 0. I have 0 minus 2 is negative 2. I have 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And I have 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, we know that you can't really divide matrices. So if I let B be that denominator matrix, the 0, negative 2, whoops, I don't need a comma, the 0, negative 2, negative 2, 0. Then to take our matrix A and divide it by this matrix B, what we really need to do is take our matrix A and multiply it by the inverse of B. And so we need to find the inverse of B. And so that means first you need the determinant, which is 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. And the, the inverse is 1 over that times you switch the diagonal elements. So the bottom 0 is up here now, and the top 0 is down here, and you negate these. So this becomes a positive 2, and this becomes a positive 2. So what we have is that my inverse of B is 0, negative a half, negative a half, 0. And then, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my 1, 2, 2, 1 and multiply it by my B inverse, which is 0, negative a half, negative half, 0. So I'm out of space on this board, so I'm going to go to another board. So now my F of A is going to look like this. We have the identity matrix. plus 
Now we're going to take our A and multiply it by B inverse. This is 1 plus A times B inverse. And B inverse was 0 minus a half minus a half 0. Now remember, when you multiply matrices, you do A1 with A1 plus the second, the second in the first row with the second in the first column. I'm not sure how to explain that without just doing it. I can't point to them for you. I'm sorry. So the first element is going to be 1 times 0, which is 0, plus 2 times negative 2, which is negative 1. The element right here is going to be 1 times negative 1 half, which is negative 1 half, plus 2 times 0, which is negative 1 half. The element in this position is going to be 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 times negative 1 half, which is negative 1 half. And then the element in this position is going to be 2 times negative 1 half, which is negative 1, plus 1 times 0. So that's just negative 1. This is, this is negative a half plus zero. I think I made a mistake. Oh, that's negative a, sorry. Okay, we're good. I didn't make a mistake. Anyway, so the last thing is to add this unity or this uh, identity matrix because that represents 1 to this one. And you get 1 plus negative 1 is 0. You get half is minus a half. You get 0 minus a half is minus a half. And you get 1 minus 1 is 0. And that's your answer.